I'm part of a team, I'm on a product team, I'm on a design team. How do I select the right tools? Yeah, tooling is, um, you know, like a lot of things in, in sort of this design system category is, uh, uh, you know, challenging and, and deceptive. Uh, it seems like it might be simple, but it, it's more complex than we a lot of teams think. So um, we see that a lot of teams solve for the different needs of their production workflow or their system in a way that, that you know, solves the acute area really well, right? A really great docs experience that's easy to maintain and manage and contribute to. Uh, pull things in from design, have that kind of aspirational area. Uh, tools that feel really great to engineers that are great to document um, and sort of uh, provide little playgrounds of things they're building, uh, tools that support endpoint testing, tools that ship code, uh, tools that help with tokens. But often there's these disconnects between, you know, how these tools actually operate. And so, it, you know, it feels good individually, but um, it doesn't move the needle as a whole. I hear from a lot of teams constantly like, yeah, we're doing all these things with our system. We've got better components, better accessibility tests than we ever had, it doesn't feel that different than it did five, 10 years ago, right? We still hit slowdowns in QA, misaligned expectations of how it's going to look. Uh, we find out we have five different card components, you know, no one knows which is right. And so, candidly, what we see is the teams that are being most successful have invested a lot in custom tooling. They either have a lot of like glue code or human overflow to kind of work around the disconnects in tools. Or a lot of them, they just build their own, right? The, the most mature organizations that have more resources and probably most of us are, if you're watching this, have, uh, you know, built a lot of custom tooling. And, you know, this is really where Knapsack comes in is we, we give you what we believe is more like that custom tooling that is that connected infrastructure that when, where I'm documenting, where I'm creating specs, where I'm documenting, you know, uh, storing code and interacting with code, where I'm prototyping, managing tokens, doing testing, creating mm. brand sites, that's got to all be connected, right? Or else we're yeah. just going to keep falling into the same disconnect. So. Um, the connectedness is, 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 I think, really emerging as a clear imperative for teams, um, and it's hard to achieve. We, we think we're onto something there at Knapsack. Yeah, it, it, you know, when I joined Knapsack, the thing that was most obvious to me is that the stuff that we're expecting customization to solve, Knapsack is stepping up and saying, "Look, here is a whole bunch of platform-ready, enterprise-ready glue." for you to stack the rest of your tooling on. And that way you don't have to spend the time, money and effort to go and build all that customization. There, there's, you know, we're, first off, we're very new to digital design in general, right? Like maybe UIs have been around 20, 30 years, but, but the iPhone came out in 2007, something like that, right? We're pretty new to modern UI creation. And so, um, you know, we got to acknowledge that there's a long road for improvement, right? And mm. uh, we are starting to see where there's just commonality in terms of things that don't need to be solved over and over again, like with any discipline that humankind has gotten better at over time, right? And um, it, it's similar. We liken it even in design systems tooling, the thing like, you know, Git repositories, right? No, you could, any, any engineering team or any great organization could build their own Git hosting infrastructure. And very few of them do because GitLab and GitHub and Bitbucket, they all solve this infrastructure need really, really well. Yeah. We're at that point with design systems and broader tooling. We're like, you should work on the things unique to your business, right? You've right. got a lot of bespoke, you know, everything from, from guidelines around brand and creative and accessibility to, you know, how you implement things, right? The code is artfully crafted by your talented engineers. The, the, the UX is incredibly thoughtfully thought through by your design team, right? That is unique to your business how you turn tokens into code and ship it and how you power playgrounds and like we think that's a solved problem at this point